Hi everyone and welcome to Wednesday afternoon. It is Wednesday I think. Yep, Wednesday afternoon. Let's leave it at that. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to talk our top 10 tips for taking Instagram photos. So we have this really good competition on at the moment. You can win a Mrs. Rogers kitchen prize pack. Um, all you have to do is follow us at Mrs. Rogers NZ and go to your favorite picture that we've already taken or will take because the competition lasts until the 26th of this month and just hashtag Mrs. Rogers within it. Then we're going to just draw someone random. You don't have to do anything amazing or, or you know, put up your own picture. But we thought, hey, we'll show you what we do. And there's really no right or wrong, but there's better than some. So as I've learned myself. Now, today I have made, pre-made, a uh, peanut butter slice which I will put the recipe up as well as it does use um, our new Mrs. Rogers chili and Himalayan lime salt funnily enough just gives it that extra kick um, and I have just cut up the whole slice to show you how I would choose um, the peas etc so first of all there's a few things I need to bore you with essentially have a look at other photos see what appeals to you is it because it's really bright colored or on a just a plain white sort of background and backdrop so all you see is the featured product is it because there's lots of props used um, you can tell a story about Instagram in fact square is the traditional shape of Instagram from a photo point of view but they do allow you to do landscape and portrait now as well as a collage so you could tell a little story say you were doing like a birthday party or something and you've got some balloons and the birthday cake that you've worked all night on and then your child opening up presents um, things like that you know make it a story make it interesting make people want to click on it be a little bit you know different and out there uh, the other thing I want to talk to you about is when you choose your piece of food it's not just the piece of food you're wanting to show it could be if your food is a really interesting item but say for example you've got a bowl of soup that's kind of boring to take a photo of put it in a really nice colored bowl or put it on a different backdrop I thought I'd just show you one of my cheats ways of backdrops now a cork board with but if you can imagine something little, a little cupcake on there and you take a photo from up top on a cupcake and the cupcakes say got bright pink icing with sprinkles, that cork is really going to shine the cake out. Another trick I use a lot is placemats. I make sure I can wash them but I do put food on these. Um, I Everywhere I go now I look for bright colors and fairly cheap reasonable things. Another thing I use um, as well as placemats is say I've got my placemat down here. I'll use something like that as my backdrop. Just to hide anything, it also just gives it a really nice finish. Or I'll find something like this and that gives it a really different overlay. So other than a different plate, a different environment, just yeah, have a play. Don't be scared. I think this is one of my favorite ones and I did the grinding of all the grinders on top of this one. Now you would never know that that was a flimsy $2 Kmart placemat. Um, oh, sorry, I knocked my microphone then. I also want to talk about plates. Because thank goodness to places like Kmart and other homeware stores, we've got a big selection now. It's not just your normal traditional white plate. So I picked that one up from Kmart and it's just different. It's interesting. I also went to another shop and got these just bright colored plates. And basically what you want to look at is just something that's different, something that's going to make your food item shine. So today I'm going to try a couple of different options purely because this is what I do. Half of Instagram is number one, taking a lot of photos, and number two, trying a different couple of options so that you can see which looks best. So, I'm gonna show you my slice. Now, I used a tin which had a subtle corner on it, so as you can see, this slice has a rounded corner. So I'm not gonna use that one. 
and there will be a few others, four others exactly. So I'm going to have a look which is my best one. Now that one is quite nice. However, see the edges? It's a little bit rough where I've cut it because my icing on the top essentially and I'm going to remove that crumb. So I'm just going to make that kind of look nice. Now this is a little bit tricky for me because I'm obviously I'm doing it for my eye but I'm going to try very my very best to do it for your eye. And that one I'm going to play it like that. Now they're really boring. They're okay. You could zoom in and take a really close-up shot of that. It'd still look really nice. Um, let me just show you on my phone. Now I've got an 7 Plus which is really good. Um, it takes a portrait mode which basically focuses in on the actual item and blurs out the rest of the background so you look like a really good photographer. But I do tend to use my square mode. This not only helps me because of the grid on it but it allows me to see what people could see in Instagram. Another good tip is I actually pull out ever so slightly because you can zoom in on Instagram. So, for argument's sake, the other thing is your lighting. You really do need to move around and natural light is, is best, however, we're in a kitchen. Okay, so, as you can see I'm dancing around, I've got my shadow. So, I'm just going to... Now, I'm actually going to move this cake forward because I want more of the blue plate in the background. So don't be scared of shadows, they can lay a certain element for you. So that is just my first photo. Obviously I do a couple more, but that's just the dummy run. I'm going to show you how I can make this plate look a little bit more interesting. Now my slice I'm going to turn into a dessert. So I'm going to put a blob of cream using Mrs. Rogers vanilla seeds. Now I like blobs. You could be really perfect and pop it in a piping bag or even just a plastic bag and cut the corner off so that you get a really nice look. However, I'm a bit slap happy when it comes to my home cooking and I'm also, just to make it a little bit more different. Now if you just wanted a slice with your coffee by all means do that. Now the other thing is is that if you had someone to help you while you're drizzling the chocolate, I'll see if I can be clever enough and do it ever so slightly, get my phone going, get it on square mode, just get the timing right. Okay so And now I'm taking lots of photos. I've taken, talking, gosh, tell I didn't get much sleep last night. I've taken about five of those photos and let's see how they look. Okay, there's kind of an action shot, not quite what I would love to do myself. You might need a friend to do that, but don't be scared. The point is don't be scared. Once you've taken the photo, you can use the filters within it. So let me show you. Okay, so I'm actually going to take one from up top because that looks really nice. Don't be scared to put it on the floor and take the photo down like that if you've got better. Or stand on the table, just don't do it in the restaurant. That's not cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go into our Instagram, which luckily I have on my phone. And this is how easy it is. Don't be scared to use it. Okay, let's see if you can do it. So that was the original square photo I took. I'm going to just zoom in a bit, but I really like those angles on the sides. I want my cake front and centre. I'm going to call it a cake because it's easy. So I'm going to go next. And then you can either choose one of these functions, filters I should say. That one's quite nice. You just go through and if, as you can see, or I'm hoping you can see, down the bottom is actually the what it would look like as well. So you don't have to click on all of them to see. Oh, that's nice. That pink looks nice. But you can edit it yourself. So you can adjust where the picture is, the brightness, the contrast, the structure. 
and honestly just go in and play with it and you can add that on top of a filter that you've already chosen I always like to add a little bit of sharpness to my photos so done so that would be my Instagram post and probably will be at this stage really it just comes down to have fun practice take photos don't be scared of Instagram there's a lot of new things now well not that new but newer to some of you who have got a bit scared of Instagram because so many people can see it um, you can change that in your profile change the editing features so that it's just for the people you accept to see it uh, a lot of people that I know have two Instagrams so they've got one of all their collectors items or their food and the other ones for family and friends of family and friends so and that, that that profile only accepts sort of basically you can request for people to join you or you can either decline or deny people who want to join you uh, just have fun with it focus zoom in get really close especially if it's like the center of just you know sort of an orange or something but it looks really pretty because it's a blood orange zoom in most phones can do it nowadays you can use a camera and use Instagram on your computer I've never done that because it's so much easier on a smartphone and I'm lucky to have a smartphone but if you really want to go down that line absolutely do give it a go have fun don't forget about our competition NZ uh, Mrs. Rogers NZ hashtag Mrs. Rogers on your favorite picture and follow us and hope you win one lucky winner will win thanks for watching